Hi, in this lecture, we'll discuss about WCS and UCS. WCS means World Coordinate System, UCS means User Coordinate System. And also we'll discuss about True North and the Project North. Let's start with this survey plan. And here clearly we can see the True North. This is the North direction, that is the True North. And let's focus on this coordinate system. So this coordinate system is World Coordinate System. There, we can find X axis and Y axis. Here, the Y axis represents the actual north, we say the true north, and the X axis represents the east direction. Now, at certain point of the time, we develop our building within the land survey plan. As per the land orientation, the buildings are not always aligned with the north direction. It can be in any direction. In this case, if you work with the world coordinate system, at the time of drawing preparation or at the time of construction, it may be difficult. So to make the task easy, we define another coordinate system aligning to the building like this. This is called user coordinate system. Now here you have Y axis. This Y axis is considered as North and X axis is considered as East. Here you can find the true North and this one is the project North. The East of the UCS or X axis of the UCS normally align to the front line of the building. Now, if you check the coordinates within the building falls into the positive region. If you come a little bit left, you'll get the X axis negative and here Y axis negative. So in order to solve this with the same alignment, we may take the UCS a little bit away. Now still you can find the origin point of the UCS has moved, but the alignment is not changed. Okay, now this one is the true north and this is the project north. And this is the world coordinate system and this is the user coordinate system. Right, next we'll talk about the drawing preparation. I have two number of drawing sheets here. We'll say one is the site plan and the other one is for flow plan development. So I'll take the site plan into the site plan sheet. The site plan is always as per the true north. Okay, using an arrow, I'll remark the true north. And the flow plans in a drawing sheet will be aligned as per the direction of the building. We can say as per the UCS. So I'll mark here the project north. So the site plan will be as per the true north and the flow plans will be developed as per the project north. Right, let's take this example. Here we have a multiple lots. For example, assume that you are working in a, in a development project in an area with multiple houses. So here we have multiple lots. Okay, and in this project, we'll say this is our world coordinate system. And here you can find the true north. Now let's focus on the lot number six. We'll say there's a house. So there's a building highlighted in light blue color. Now we'll say this is the user coordinate system. Since that is the user coordinate system for lot number six, I name that as user coordinate system six. And now let's focus on the lot number one. We'll say that is the building. And here we have to create a user coordinate system. As I told you, normally the X axis will be in the front line. So that is our user coordinate system. So I'll name that user coordinate system one. Now let's focus on the lot number 16. The entrance, it is from the top. So the X axis should be aligned along that. So that is my user coordinate system 16. Now with this, let's think about the drawing preparation. Let's focus on the lot number six, site plan and the flow plan. So that is the site plan. The site plan is always as per true north. And let's check the user coordinate system there. It is aligned like this. So there's a small angle different. So when you're preparing the flow plan, it should be as per the building's orientation. So that means as per the UCS or else we can say as per the project north. Now let's jump into the uh, lot number one. And here also we have the lot number one, the site plan as per the true north. And that is our user coordinate system. And the flow plan is aligned as per the user coordinate system, as per UCS one or else project north. Same fashion, let's check the lot number 16, site plan and the flow plan. Site plan is aligned as per the true north and the drawing is aligned as per the UCS or else project north. Okay, now if you focus only the flow plans, in the flow plan, you can see the UCS and 
the project node. In the flow plan, we don't display the project node because that gives a wrong idea whether it is a project node or a through node. So instead of that, in the flow plan, we display the through node. So that is the direction of the through node. Now you can focus here and here and here, how the through node is with respect to the project node. So what I'm going to do is in the flow plan, I'm going to remove the project node and UCS. So this is how you can prepare the drawing. Now, the important thing is in the flow plan, if you want to display the north direction, it must be the through north. We don't give the project north. Or else, if you don't want to display the north direction in the flow plan, then you can leave it empty, it doesn't matter. But the site plan should be arranged as per the through north and the through north should be annotated there. Okay, with all this understanding, let's jump into the AutoCAD and we'll see how to deal with these coordinate systems in AutoCAD and how we arrange and plan our work with defining the coordinate system, named views and so on. I'll give you this file. You'll be able to download this AutoCAD file from the resources and continue with the exercise. Let's do the AutoCAD practical in the next lecture.